Hi guys, welcome back. Dan here from Design Melton bringing you all things design. This week we're going to take a look at 3D sketches. Um, it's going to build on the knowledge that we had from 2D sketch tutorial from a couple of weeks ago. And it's a great building block to get us towards the weldments. Um, 3D sketches are great if you know how to control them. And uh, you know, we'll look at a few examples of how you can go about controlling your 3D sketches and yeah, where they'd be useful. So let's jump in and take a look. If you find the video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button. We've got content coming weekly, so make sure you don't miss out. So we're in the new part here and um, we're looking at 3D sketches this week and this is going to build on the knowledge that we had from the sketch uh, tutorial that we did a couple weeks ago. So there's things we can take from that like relationships and um, reference geometry. So if we want to start a 3D sketch you come up to sketch here go on the drop down arrow and select 3D sketch and it's worth noting that um, just because it's a 3D sketch doesn't mean you can't use um, reference geometry like in a 2D sketch so for example if we select the top plane here and come up to center rectangle SolidWorks intuitively um, places that entity on the plane that we selected so essentially it's a 2d sketch but it's a 3d sketch if that makes sense so we just drop it here and we'll um, apply some dimensions to it call it 150 by 250 and notice where in a 2D sketch this would be fully defined because it's a 3D sketch it needs something further to define it because uh, as we mentioned in our previous tutorials when you have a black sketch it means it's fully defined blue means it's underdefined so I just tilt it there um, so if I select that um, vertice there we've got some additional relations that wouldn't appear in a 2D sketch. So this uh, sets us up quite nicely um, to reference the triad, which is visible in the bottom left of the screen. So you're gonna rely quite heavily on your X, Y, Z in 3D sketches um, because that's what's gonna give you the control. So if we take a look, Z is the direction we're interested in here. So we've selected that vertice. If we say along Z, it's going to lock the sketch up and fully define it for us. So we're going to come up now and go to line and going to select um, a corner there. And similarly to our 2D sketches, SolidWorks will intuitively offer relationships um, when you're going to snap to a sketch element. So we're going to create a simple cube here and what is worth noting SolidWorks is asking us look it's got the up um, the Y triad showing on screen there and SolidWorks is basically asking us same as 2D sketches do you want to apply um, a Y relation to that line and the answer is yes in this example just going to hit escape there to come out go line again and we do the same here and the same for all of them and if you go the other way so we go line down it give you the y because it's it's just y in the other direction and if we come to the side, look, it's asking us for the X. So intuitively, it's asking, um, you know, what you want to do. So we go there. And we can use um, 
some other relations like we would in a 2D sketch. So if we're going to call this line 150, and we're going to say that all these lines are the same length. So I'm holding control and selecting. We can then come over and apply an equal relationship that will um, they'll finish up our lines there and define them. And then we can just come in again and use the line tool to um, to finish up our cube. Missed that one there. So there we go. Fairly simple. Um, and what I want to suggest now is this is most likely a personal preference. But from my experience, if you are using, if you're doing simple stuff, it's it's fine. You can freestyle it to a certain extent but if you're trying to create more complex shapes um, weldments um, I like to use additional reference geometry and 2d sketches to help um, basically form some construction blocks to um, make it easier so if we come out exit that sketch now and I'll just hide that for the moment because uh, we want to do something else. So it's worth noting as well, I, I didn't mention it earlier, but it, it helps if you set the view to sort of an ISO when you're doing a 3D sketch, because it gives you a perspective on what you're trying to achieve. And now I'm just going to use um, some reference geometry here. So I'm going to offset this plane 150. And on this sketch, gonna want to make some construction, a construction sketch. And basically, this is my um, suggestion. For making it easier to work with more complex shapes. I'm just gonna make that vertical and then we'll give it a height so we've got that and then we'll put a reference plane over there. The sketch there. We use our sketch and we'll convert it. Come out. And we'll convert it then. So now we can hide the middle one if you want. We don't really need that. So we can use these 2D um, sketch is and the reference planes to make our 3D sketch. So if we come up to 3D sketch, and what we can do is use the 2D sketches as reference. And you can convert entities from a 2D sketch to a 3D sketch as I just did there. So you select the sketch, come up to convert entities and it converts them into 3D. So it's not a super complex shape, but it's complicated. If you're trying to get this angle um, freestyled, I would struggle. I'll just show you briefly. 
So obviously it will give you the lock in the Y or the X. But if you want to apply an angle, you, you will put the line where you think it is when you rotate. But it doesn't necessarily go where you want it. So that's just my tip anyway. So that's it for today guys that's 3d sketches uh summed up and you know as i mentioned in the uh, tutorial they uh, it's kind of my personal uh, preference on workflow really i like to especially with more complicated geometry use um, a combination of you know um, reference geometry and uh, and or sketches 2d sketches should i say to help control the 3d sketch and there may be, um, you know, alternative methods that perhaps I don't, I don't know about, I haven't explored. But as always, would love to hear from you guys. Let me know, you know, do you have different workflow? Do you have a different approach? How do you find um, 3D sketches to work with? Do you like them? Do you find them uh, a bit frustrating? But um, anyway, thanks for watching. And um, as always, uh, see you again next week. Thanks. Bye.